Now, the Central Bank of Sri Lanka says the envisaged IMF facility is expected to materialize in early 2023 due to the significant progress made in relation to the interaction with the Sri Lankan creditors. Issuing a statement on monetary and financial sector policies for the year 2023 and beyond, the monetary regulator said they will remain committed to achieving its mandate through appropriate policy measures while closely observing developments to take corrective policy and regulatory measures. Issuing a statement on monetary and financial sector policies for 2023 and beyond, the central bank said that measures are underway to secure financing assurances from official creditors for the debt restructuring process aimed at ensuring medium-term public debt sustainability. The monetary regulator said with significant progress being made at present in relation to the interaction with the Sri Lankan creditors, the envisaged IMF facility is expected to materialize in early 2023. With regard to inflation, the central bank said the headline inflation is expected to move along in disinflationary path with a deceleration in the first half of 2023 and reaching the desired levels of inflation towards the end of 2023. The CBSL added that if any upside risks to inflation emerge in the period ahead, that would be addressed through appropriate policy measures. The statement also said that the Sri Lankan economy, which is projected to register a real contraction of around 8% in 2022, is expected to record a gradual recovery from the second half of this year and sustain the growth momentum beyond. In terms of interest rates, the CBSL said the excessively high levels of interest rates observed at present are expected to moderate in the period ahead as money market liquidity conditions improve and the risk per year attached to debt restructuring concerns assuage. It also said that further flexibility in the determination of the exchange rate will be restored in line with the medium to long-term equilibrium levels that help foster competitiveness.